In this lesson, you're going to learn how to use geometry from the Unreal scene to drive the instancing asset. So we're going to go back into this asset and we're going to give it a, a maximum input of 1. And if we do that and press accept, you'll see that we're actually now there's an input that's been added to, to this network. And what we're going to do is we're going to create an option of either using the grid or using an output uh, or an exterior piece of geometry. So we're going to put a switch node down right in between here and we're going to feed the input number one into that. Now if we we're then going to put a subdivide because we want to make sure there's lots of detail otherwise the the attributes won't work very well. We're going to put like a five in there. So whatever comes in we want to break it down into lots of little pieces and then go from there. Now if we go up to the top we might want to put a little box in here um, just something to feed in so that we don't get an error on that. And so if we were to go to here and say switch, you'll see that all the instancing is going to that sphere. And that's fine. That's sort of what we're looking for. For now, we're going to make it a little more effective in a second. Let's start by bringing this up. And of course, what we want to do is bring the switch node over. And we're going to drag that over. And once we have that over, we can turn that into a menu of which the two options will be zero is the grid and one will be the input geometry. And there we go. And if we press uh, accept, that saves everything and we can go test it. So if we go back to here and we rebuild, um, doesn't really affect things for this this asset because we're using the grid, uh, but we uh, there is a select input option now. So let's tumble around and let's put a second version of this asset in and see what we can do with it. So once we do that, we put the populate um, just another one over into the side here, and what we can do is take that and change the input geometry, which now it doesn't do anything because it doesn't know where to go. And then there's an option here for world outliner input. Good. Start selecting and we can select all this geometry in here. And that and maybe these little pieces here. And press uh, use current selection. And now what we see is that the geometry is being instanced within the volume um, of this shape because the shape is being subdivided and then the subdivision it sort of puts the surface where we need it. So if we go back to here uh, we want to do it maybe a little bit different than that. So what we're going to do is we're going to put down a, a group node and say you know what we don't want it to go we don't want to use the whole geometry. Uh, we're going to only do up facing uh, so we're going to go zero one zero and a spread angle let's do of zero. So we're only going to do flat, flat surfaces. And then we're going to put a blast node in and we're going to put up facing surfaces and by default let's see that it deletes that up facing surface. What we want to do is uh, delete non-selected. So there we've got a simple surface. So now if we were to go to you know down here and we were to switch to number one you'd see that everything's just sitting on that little face. So that's perfect. That's more or less what we're looking for. And so we can save that asset. And now if we go back to Unreal, uh, we're going to see that now when we press um, Update, Rebuild, now only the flat surfaces have um, geometry on it, uh, instances on it. And that's perfect. And then we come down and maybe we don't need so many. So maybe we just want to go with um, 20 or maybe 40. 40 would be good. Now what we'd like to do now is instead of instancing um, a prop, let's bring an actual visual effect in. So we're going to take that fire and we're going to drag that onto the instance. Um, and then we'll just go 90 uh, here and that will make them all stick up. And there we go. So now we've instanced fire, which is also rotating and scaling um, a little bit based on that system. And there we go. We've got a nice fire system sitting on top of there. 
So that's another way to integrate uh, what we've been doing into your Unreal scene by using input geometry and then using prop uh, effects like this fire uh, as part of the instancing.